Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to play Wonderspawn games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is open up your Play Store. And once your Play Store is opened up, we're going to be searching for and installing two apps. The first of these is going to be RetroArch. This is going to be the free multi emulator we're using in today's video. It's a really, really nice app. It's 100% free and this is the first thing we need to install. The second thing we're going to be installing is another free app called Z Archiver. Z Archiver is a compression and extraction tool and a general file management software for your Android device. It's something I'd recommend having there regardless. However, it's going to be the second app we're going to be needing to extract in games on our Android device a little bit later on. So once you have both of these apps installed, what we're going to be doing is opening up RetroArch. And if this is your first time opening the app, you are going to have to allow it access to your phone storage. From this point, what we're going to be doing is clicking the load core option at the very top. Here we'll see a list of all cores if you have any downloaded. From this point, what we're going to be doing is scrolling down to the very bottom and we're going to be looking for the download a core option right here. If we select this, we'll see a list of all available cores that we can download for our Android device. What we're going to be doing is scrolling down until we can see the Bandai dash Wonderswan slash color core that you can see right here. To download and install this core, you simply click on it once. Some text will appear at the bottom. Once this text disappears, your core will be downloaded and installed on your Android device. From this point, we're gonna be clicking back out of here by using the button on the top left, which will bring us back to the home screen. We're then gonna be clicking the load core option. And now we're gonna be selecting to load the core that we just downloaded, which for me is right here. Select this core, and then your core will be loaded as you can see with the text on the top left. From this point, we're gonna be opening up Z Archiver and we're gonna be talking a little bit about games. So at the moment, you can see I currently have my games right here in a Wonderswan folder. I have Digimon Digital Monsters, as you can see right here. Now at the moment, my game is in a .zip format. And for the most part, these games should run just fine in a .zip format. However, I would recommend always extracting your games out. And that's where Z Archiver comes in. We're going to be extracting this game out of here to have it in the correct playable format for our emulator. To extract a game, you simply need to locate to where it is. Click on it once. We're then going to be clicking extract here if you'd like to extract the game in its current location or extract dot 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 if you'd like to choose a custom location to extract it to. In this case, I have this folder specifically for Wonderswan games. So I'm simply going to be clicking extract here and then my game will extract and you can see now it's in a dot ws format, which is exactly what we need for the Wonderswan emulator. Now I will mention in today's video, I'm not going to be showing you how to download games. Although games are really, really easy to find, a quick Google search will help you out. But once you have your games downloaded, what we're going to be doing is coming back to RetroArch. We're going to be clicking on the home button on the bottom left right here. And we're going to be selecting to load the game we just extracted. In this case, we can do this by coming to the load content option right here. And then you need to locate to where your game is extracted. So for me, it's in the Wonderswan folder right here. And you can see I have my game here in a .ws format like I just extracted a moment ago. However, you can also see your .zip file shows up here as well. In this case, I'm going to be selecting my .ws format file. Simply click on it. And because we had the core loaded previously, this should automatically load using the selected core. And you can see just like that, your game is playing. Now, this is a pretty old system, so most likely most phones will run this no problem. However, depending on the phone you have and depending on the power of it, it may run a little bit better or a little bit worse. Now, one other thing I would recommend connecting is an external controller. Setting up a controller in RetroArch is really easy. However, I'm not going to be showing you that in today's video. I have a previous video showing you how to do that. I'll leave a card on screen. I'll leave a link in the description down below to that video. It's something I would always recommend and it can help prove your experience a lot. However, this game runs just fine and it runs really well. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to play Wonderswan games on your Android device. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.